Hello everyone, how is it going? Scramble here from Emotionless Crypto Trading. Welcome to my new Ethereum video presentation related to price analysis, technical details and everything that is important for the current situation of the market. We have been dumping today. There is plenty of regulatory issues. We've got the stock markets having difficulties in a correction phase. So things are um, adding up towards shorts at the moment. While the seven days period are still green for certain cryptocurrencies, within the last 24 hours, it's pretty much clear that everyone has dumped. This is putting the entire market cap at $1.3 trillion with a 24 hours volume, which is nothing special. It's just $81 billion. We have not been going through those massive sell offs that are crossing 120 billions. It's just pretty much steadily going down. On the other side of the things, I did want to share with you a technical analysis for the total crypto market cap. Quickly speaking about the whole thing, we were in an uptrending movement and this green line is a support of the uptrending movement that has been acting very well. Uh, having a quite interesting uh, triple top bearish pattern appearing, so the market cap was pretty much not allowed to cross the $1.46 trillion. And this has been going on since the first top established till today. We've got nine days of continuous rejection of that level. Once it has appeared for the third time, uh, we've been facing a significant selling energy right here within that candle, which pretty much confirmed the bear's activity and power. And then obviously within the next eight hours, we have formed two more red candles crossing the support line and putting us under it. So the reaction we have at the moment is another thing which I'd like to talk about. A lot of the people think that uh, we're looking forward to going back into the uptrend and pushing above 1.5 trillion, which would be a significant level that we'll have to cross in order to talk about great numbers of bulls. So for the moment, the $1.39 trillion is acting as a major resistance. And the current reaction that we have here, where support is expected in a minor way, of course, is just like the representation, extremely weak. So this is not yet satisfying in terms of a bullish reaction. The market wants lower. On the other side of the things, going towards the two hour candlesticks for the Ethereum, we're going to take a look at the charts and share with you the current situation. So the same support line appears here as well, uh, but we do have a resistance line for the specific chart, uh, which has the first specific top. And then we have the double top representation uh, in which I'd like to zoom into and share with you some more details of that. Take a look at the amount of wicks we have there, guys. This is quite impressive. And each candlestick is representing two hours of time frame. So we got right there about five to six candlesticks. Each have a decent wick above them. That's clearly a representation of a continuous sell off during 10 hours, which played out as a sell off appearing at a double top position while the total cryptocurrency market cap, the chart that you have seen previously, had the triple top pattern appearing right there. So the whole thing has played out step by step, one after the other quite uh, decently. Uh, the support has not reacted at all, which is giving out a good sign of uh, weakness for the ones questioning why the bulls have not held on the line because if they would hold on the line the breakout on the upper side would have been pretty much clear if you are holding within the last part of the triangle which is pretty much squeezing it right here if you would have bounced from here like this you could have been breaking out on the upper side there is no other room to be coming back again once the support has been shown here a lot of the people will buy but they didn't want it to do that so there is no support appearing on our uh, trending line which is a good sign of weakness and that has to be traded accordingly now what's happening at the moment well there's been uh, quite many 
uh, selling uh, going on for a lot of the hours here. It will look from the top till this point, uh, we're about 10% away and we have been a little more averaging a little above 11% uh, correction already. Uh, to me, uh, the movement is definitely not over and the situation is going to speed up uh, definitely towards the $2,000 area, which has significant movements in terms of possible supports uh, slightly above 2000 and 2025, just like you can see this bottom. Uh, or slightly below $2,000, we can also expect movements that would support us. However, I don't see uh, those levels holding for a longer period of time, uh, although any kind of relief bounce back in the markets would just be a very nice opportunity to reaccumulate on shorts, as long as major levels are not going to be uh, broken. The major level for the Ethereum is $2,400. If we successfully break, and this is a final conclusion to our video, the $2,400 level, then we can definitely start uh, forgetting about the shorts for a short term and building up on our longs. We didn't have this opportunity and we pretty much failed today tremendously. There are some issues related to Binance regulatory problems in specific countries of the world. Uh, there are banking uh, systems that have blocked deposits or withdrawals towards Binance. So there are certain pressures again and applied towards the market of cryptocurrency. There's a whole lot of the things going on. Uh, it's definitely clear that they don't like it. They don't like the um, sort of a way freedom involved into this specific market. Uh, and you know the authorities are looking for having full control over uh, people, financial performance, assets, and uh, have full information about everything they own, which is something uh, cryptocurrency is, uh, you know, not that friendly, right? Uh, with those kind of government policies, cryptocurrency is actually the opposite, is giving us quite many abilities to be having a uh, nice autonomous activity out there on the markets on decentralized basis, including a uh, pretty much safe and full of privacy possibilities to handle cryptocurrency. So overall, the space right now is under heavy regulatory issues and pressure of selling, uh, which we hope is not going to dip too much. However, we do have to uh, consider that yesterday uh, we've been pushing very nicely and we've been putting out these tops while well, we did add all sorts of binance uh, you know having issues news out there appearing in the market uh, it seemed that we're not pretty much reacting to those the reaction has appeared in a delay way and this is pretty much the beauty of the space because sometimes the reactions are appearing before the news are coming out in other times, they do appear right once the news are put out. And in the other cases, the reactions are appearing in a delayed format. So at this time, we've been hearing about Binance for a couple of days and the sell-off has just appeared today. So this is something that we were expecting at the time we were hearing those news. Uh, in different times, we're actually dumping to 25-30% when such news have came out. At this time, we didn't. We actually pumped uh, even for the Ethereum and other altcoins. We're doing very well within the past days, forming in a healthy upturning channel. It's just that here, they put a lot of the selling pressure and things have turned out in the opposite direction. Till that point, we're bullish on the whole thing. We're ready to push much higher. It's just like you see a borderline. And let's put it this way. Let's let's make a, a, a rectangle in this form with a borderline which is supposed to be at the middle. However, uh, this is our trading activity and predictions. Just like you can see, when the markets are moving around the line, very close to the line, is just one little step away to be uh, dominated by the other. This is how the markets are in critical situation. Just one little step away, this is like bullish, 
and this is like bearish bearish and bullish so it's just one little step away from the bullish prediction which is under domination to fall into the bearish prediction uh, in terms of domination this is what happens uh, quite a few times and those are certain situations we have to recognize because those are very hard to be traded it's pretty much all about today's video presentation guys for those who are looking to find out how to trade make sure to check out scramblecoaching.com if you're interested in my private coaching program where i'm teaching people how to trade uh, cryptocurrency one-on-one -on -one directly with me i also have trading services in, in terms of full trading done for you through api make sure to check out this video feel free to register now i'm going to get back to you on your email there is no telegram or such things that you should contact uh, we have quite many fake telegrams out there that you should avoid because those people are asking money i've seen all sorts of things and you have to avoid this kind of uh, nature of business so this is pretty much all about scramblecoaching.com for more details have a beautiful time we'll talk to you soon